What is up with it, y'all? It's coffee. Back at it, man. And you see everyone in the blogosphere took notice, right, that Ursher deleted his entire uh, Twitter social network. Everything he had ever posted is what everyone was saying. See, it says, right, Usher has wiped his entire Twitter history, erasing 7,000 of his old tweets. Uh, this other individual says Usher just deleted all of his tweets. The Diddy tapes are about to send hundreds of celebs to prison. Now, check it. Usher has responded to this. And uh, people, he says, account got hacked. And damn, y'all ran with it. See you tonight at Intuit Dome. Peace, right? So if you go to his account, um, there's definitely a lot of stuff back on the timeline. Everything was wiped clean. There was nothing. But like, for instance, this is a reply. This is him responding. This is the only reply in all of his Twitter history. Also, you see where it says Usher hasn't posted any media. All the media stuff is deleted. You know what I'm saying? So what do you make of this? You know what I mean? He's saying the old, hey, someone hacked my account. They they, they did all that. You know what I mean? But now I'm back at it and I've uh, restored the Twitter sphere. But um, not everything. I haven't put everything back up. I, I don't know. Like that's always been the old, uh, you know. If not tweet and delete like someone does, says some dumb shit, they tweet and delete it or they say I got hacked or whatever the case may be. But what do you guys take from this with Usher with the Diddy stuff? Like, do you think there is something funny style going on here? And what would make him delete his social network? Like, I'm just thinking out loud here. What would that speak to you? What would that do? Was there some old stuff in there that tied him to certain situations when maybe he was around Diddy when certain things were going on that was in his Twitter, like his social network history or what. I don't know. As we know, he goes way back with Diddy. Um, you know, he basically uh, in, a, in, a, in a really kind of bizarre, disturbing um, turn of events, his peoples sent him to live with Diddy when he was coming up, you know, to, to help him get into the game. And there's in, there's interviews out there, I think, was it maybe Howard Stern where he spoke about it, that he saw some rather uh, twisted things in, in his time with Diddy. You know what I mean? It's it's so twisted what goes on in the um in the in the in the music industry this we already know but um i don't know what do you make of this is this just nothing is usher correct here when he's saying man y'all are running with this bull ish or do you think some funny style ish was going on there's also some stuff hitting the headlines as well about jaguar right claiming that uh diddy was um selling some of these uh, voyeuristic videos in which he was recording people unbeknownst to them from these freak off parties on the dark web. Do you buy that? Do you believe that to be true? Um, I don't know. You know, that the, that's the thing a lot of people are wondering and theorize in regards to this whole Diddy case is those tapes that the feds went in and got. You know, we've heard from some individuals that you know, we're front and center with Diddy. We're around him all the time that there was high profile individuals at these freak off parties. You know, a lot of people theorize that the, 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 the feds having these tapes that they're trying to protect certain individuals. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to make of none of this. But you see Usher responding, saying, hey, someone had my account. Y'all are bugging. You guys really ran with this craziness. Hit the comments. Let me know what you think about it all. The Diddy case. Uh, Diddy denied bail. The ish Jaguar Wright was talking about. Let's discuss it all in the comments below. Make sure to sub up and stay tuned for updates. It's coffee. I'm about to y'all. Peace.